acquisition front, we've got a new destroyer, we've got uh, a lot of developments happening, happening. And so it is, I think, the best time. And of course, yesterday was the Navy Day reception where we saw for the first time a very welcome initiative where trophies were given for innovation to units and the commanding officers by none other than the Prime Minister himself. Otherwise, these things have happened earlier, but they've happened in little naval bases and little pockets. But to have it on centre stage at Navy House by the Prime Minister, I think, also speaks volumes for where the Navy is headed. Uh, this evening, we plan to, uh, I'd like to welcome Commodore Nareesh Kumar. Commodore Nareesh Kumar needs no introduction. He's been uh, Chairman and Managing Director of uh, Hindustan Shipyard after a stellar career in the Navy. And he's now steering Pipao Defence and Offshore Engineering Company through very turbulent times. He steered it very well on the naval systems front. He's made, he made a major breakthrough where in collaboration with Saab of Sweden, a small company like Pipao in terms of naval systems has been able to develop combat management systems which have even earned them the admiration of an organization like Vesi, who came and spent three days with us. Uh, when I say with us, I was also with Pipao then. And actually tried to understand how we've achieved what we've achieved with very limited resources at disposal. And that for, that, for that, the credit goes obviously to Commodore Nareesh Kumar. At the moment also, he's busy driving a number of projects in sensors and weapons, and all of which is heading towards our so-called goal of indigenization and make in India and self-reliance. So today we'll have, uh, uh, we have Commodore Ranjit Rai, of course, who's been instrumental in arranging this evening. He's been, ev he's been everywhere, done everything that anyone could do in the Navy. He's going to be speaking on future strategy of the Navy. There's a recent strategy document that has been released by, Navy, by the Navy, which, which lays out the roadmap for the future. And I will give a little overview on what is happening on the defense, on the naval acquisition front, just to update on what are the areas we need to address and where are we at the moment. So I'll hand over to Commodore Ganesh Kumar to kindly initiate the proceedings. Uh, thank you, Ajay, and it is indeed my honor and privilege to be present here on this lecture uh, today evening. Uh, we had this lecture last year also, which was attended by some of us. Uh, as Ajay has already um, uh, told, uh, the Navy is moving uh, far ahead in every field, uh, which includes shipbuilding. And apart from shipbuilding, the design and development of large number of systems which were at display at Navy House of the day. Uh, it's amazing how much of work is being done by various organizations, including services, the private industry, the public sectors, and everybody. Everybody has put in their foot forward, and a lot has been achieved. Of course, what we read in media is that you know, we will always be importing weapons and sensors, which almost cost 60% of the platform cost uh, because the ship as a whole is roughly around 40% and the remaining cost goes into the systems. So this was the reason that uh, the power, when we both were together, decided to design and develop some of the critical systems which are required in the ships. And we are continuing with that effort. And there has been uh, significant progress in this area. And there are a large number of companies, of course, DPSUs, DRDO, and many private companies have done tremendous work. And uh, we have to catch up with the rest of the world because till such time, we produce uh, the world grade or the top grade weapons and sensors. We, there will be, uh, you know, uh, we will have to import at times because you have to match uh, with how the world is moving. So uh, that's an area which I'm sure uh, with now large private sector with TOT partnership from global players are coming and setting up their facilities and infrastructure for make in India or buy and make in India options. And we see a lot of things happening. Uh, with these opening remarks, I will request AJ to <coughs> give his, uh, sorry, uh, Can I just ask Admiral? Yes, please. Sorry. Uh, Admiral uh, Victor Pan. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Admiral Basin was supposed to come at very short notice. Uh, somebody who has handled the largest shipyard in the country, but it belonged to the shipping ministry. 
and therefore he had a very tough time because we could neither make worships but he handled it and the submarine has come out of it with cloak missiles it's on youtube go to ins sindhu kriti i've never seen navy open up so much but in every movie there is always a guest appearance sharukh khan will appear <laughs> katrina kaif will appear but today uh, i have a friendship with admiral ranjit wait we were about the same seniority we saw how the navy's constructors started in a small flat but today they are designing as he told you aircraft carrier kalash colony ships craft systems to help vessi weapons electronics systems engineering establishment which started in a small flat today if you are in vessi you are one of the brightest technical officers you serve